my best bud over here, Luigi Bondre, for setting up the equipment. Without you, I blow things up. If any of you have liked what you've seen, and in fact, if you've noticed, each act was different. It was supposed to be. I just want this to be an opportunity to let you know that there are a lot of different things to do with words. There's a lot of different ways to work together. If you are interested in what you've seen, if you want to try it yourself, let me know because we hope to do another series like this with the stress on collaboration later on, probably sometime late in the spring. So once again, I'm going to give you a few minutes. Um, probably you should stay, stay put, but we're going to get our drummers together. And Lola will be back with visions. That's all. final section of the performance and I'm going to be doing something a little bit unorthodox which is getting together with these musicians called Visions. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of improvisational stuff. We've never worked together so this is purely spontaneous. What comes out of it will be part of the magic of the moment. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to do about four or five pieces and we're going to close with that. So we need your energy, and anybody want to dance or clap or dance or clap or dance or clap, do it, okay? Please, feel free to join in in, in any way. Almost any way. <laughs> All right, great. Can we pinch your ankles, No, 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 no touching the uh, musicians.
neighborhood equation. It's not like you went away and took everything with you, although you wear the scar of this block like the tattoo of an amulet burned below your neck. It's not like you moved out leaving everything behind. They say you took the wall and left the pictures hanging in the empty air. What was there to come back to, you asked? Training your dark and diamond eye past the window, a laser cutting the equation to street size. People out here don't got something, you said. They got half of nothing. Which half do you want? Maya. At the crossroads, there is pain and sadness. Every stage is a crossroads. Every journey, a blessing. At the crossroads, yo soy una viajera. Yo soy una viajera. I am a traveler. Cuando yo me voy a la encrucejada, it's a la encrucejada. Cada encrucejada, cuando yo pasé por encrucejada, it's at the crossroads. I am a traveler. I am a traveler. Yo soy una viajera. When I go to the crossroads, cuando él me lleve a la encrucejada, it's at the crossroads. Every crossroads, whenever I find myself a la encrucejada, it's the crossroads. Where is your orisha? Where is your orisha? Who is that viejo? Al encrucejada su orisha. Donde se esconde? Donde se esconde? Donde se esconde? Where is he hiding? Who is that old man? Although you are not mine, I honor your presencia. Although you are not mine, I honor your presencia. Although you are not death today, I honor your presencia. Who dares to praise you? Don't bring me pena. Show me my path. I am a traveler. Where is your santo? Dime, where is your santo? Lend me your stick so I can walk along the water. Yeah! Oración at the crossroads. I know. In exile, there is no parasite of consciousness. The exiled have no memories. This is what it means to be an exile. This is how it's always been, must suffice. Wherever you go, nothing reminds you of the past, the years forgotten in which you noticed that destiny had placed its damp hand on your bony shoulder and turned you halfway around from where you might have been. In exile, there is no focus. There is no parasite of consciousness. In exile, you are still trying to figure out why you are always distracted when the crowd is intent. 
in exile, the humming in your brain has no lyrics that you remember. The exiled have no memories, no anthems. You pretend to recognize the gargoyle, the saint, the soldier that is your face, your body wrapped in the shrapnel, the stranger's cloak, your feet sanded to the bone by the path's edge. This is what it means to be in exile. Wherever you go, no one reminds you of yourself. In exile, no one calls out the bullet, the kiss do not mark or chase you who you are. Journeyed one, icebreaker on the border flow, always packed and ready where to run. Dark ship moving by mutiny over the gray crust of unearthed oceans. In briny exile, you are splashed by madness. In exile, you are hidden from a world. Human, they say, in pain or pleasure, there are latitudes, parallels with what is hidden. A blossoming of genus Alansoa, the mask flower, your beak, your claws, your silver light, a sentient creature that drags its heaviness in human form, a crawling across the earth, a leaden moon set in ground orbit. In exile, you've traveled from far away. In the exile's dream, a voice repeats, the stranger has no passport, no passport, no passport, no passport. The stranger has no passport. Wherever you go, you feel as you suppose they do. Your state has become a city. You do not recognize your distance, even from exile. You mark space with your emptiness. This is what it means to be in exile. A notch cut in your brain where time replaces memory. A hole burned through a melting stone. A heart crypto-crystalline carved in the flaming tree of night. This space reserved that none can see. You move, a troop belonging to no battle array, the lights following your movement, climbing the wall as dogs with human faces nip at your heels, yet neither side will recognize you hostage, and this is what it's like to be in exile. In exile, there is no parasite of consciousness. The exiled have no memories. This is how it's always been, must suffice. This is what it means to be in exile. It's about a going back and forth to New York in a spiritual mode. Some people take a plane. <laughs> This is about the difference in consciousness between two friends who are always very much alike. If spirituality makes you look within and draws a curtain on the dawn, how many levels of light can be glimpsed from the 11th floor facing east to the river? The most important thing to me about where I am is what I see when I look outside myself. I dwell in the light, but I can be found in darkness. It is quite important to get the correct angles where the sky meets the water, not perfectly the first or second times, because one needs to keep on looking. It is urgent that I understand the varieties of light and darkness, and where to find them, and how to see them, and when to look, and what to look for. In my catalog of sight, I would tirelessly describe what you would never think to view, for time has made me useless and curious, yet nothing matters more. We do not yearn for light at the same point in time. I call to you from the cease, from striving, from my time machine. I am visiting you as I tour myself. 
While you scramble to survive in the hour of the cannibal With sight, I probe the roseate tiers of skyline With sight, I plow Manhattan like a farmer With sight, I fish and build and play I climb each building like a cat burglar Scaling the dark side of the moon The city never sleeps for me My eyes have feet, a vision waits in every window A sweet meat for my brain The city never stops for me The eyelids have slowly receded from my eyes Evolving into smooth and perfect orbs sighted on all sides. My knowledge is whispered to me by a human gargoyle on Avenue C, by the boats moving up the electromagnetic vein of the East River, by the cars shooting like Perseid comets on FDR, all pushing toward morning in the dust and mica dawn. I am the stargazer from another time, painting snakes on my hands, looking to the sky for my great civilization for a sign. But you, African Buddha, tranquil hypnotist, relaxing into chaos, dancing, a zen samba of the inner eye, you are always pulling down a dark shade on the city, as if it weren't the night. It worked. The night. Last piece is called appropriately prayer at the end. Cancion al final. <laughs> My band, for tonight, visions, for tonight, visions, for tonight, visions. Sound, remember that you are not silence. Sonido, recuerdas que tú no eres silencio. Heart, remember that you are not a stone. Corazón, recuerda que tú no eres una piedra. Voice, remember that you are not memory. Voz, Recuerda que tú no eres memoria. And finally, remember that you are life. Y al final, cuando el sonido es igual que silencio, recuerda que tú eres la vida. Don't forget December 11th, huh? collaboration yeah. meeting number three, uh, and that'll be it for a while. So Gary, I don't be know there. Keep forgetting your last name. Shenafel. Shenafel. Nancy. This is Gary Shenafel. Hello, my daughter Nancy. Nice to meet you. Are you from? Yeah, I'm from. I just never hung out with my dad. You don't? No, I should more. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Visions is going to play another uh, tune. <laughs> 